This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, here we go. Another night of uh, useless desperation. I'm Alex Bennett. This is The Ramble, and The Ramble goes until midnight on the eastern coast of the United States. Okay, that's Eastern Daylight Time. And so if you're listening to us now, it's approximately 10.05 Eastern Daylight Time. Anywhere in the world where it might be that time, Eastern Daylight Time in the United States, then you're listening to it live, and you can call us using Skype or using phone numbers, whatever you want to do to join us here on the program. Now, in a bit, we're going to be talking to our citizens panel, but as we do each night, we talk to a different comedian and an old friend of ours, and uh, tonight is actually no exception. Okay. So, Bob Rubin, are we in a comedy mood? Oh, you bet you, Alex. I'm in a comedy mood. Woo! Is that Was that for real, or did you were you just faking it? Is that your acting ability, sir? That's, that's my acting ability. Do you know I live in Hollywood? Mm-hmm. Do, do you know that I live in Hollywood, Alex? Yes, I, you live in, in Hollywood. Yes, and I've studied... I've studied the Bard... You mean Shakespeare? No, the Bard. The Bard. <laughs> Jerry Bard. <laughs> I know. Just thirty nine ninety five a class. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. I'm in a great mood. I'm getting evicted for like the ninth time. The ninth, no. The, well, one, two, three, the fourth time. Fourth time you're being, being evicted. Yeah, but I walked away from... Uh, Two of them. One of them I didn't walk away from. I got, you know, I had to go. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I didn't walk away. Wait, that's the wrong term. One of them I had to walk away. Yeah. And two of them, two of them went away uh, because what happened was that uh, I took care of it before it got down to the nitty gritty. You yeah. know, in the in the in the eleventh hour, I took care of it, and now I'm in another situation where I got the eleventh hour coming up. So. uh it's time for the old roof Hollywood hayride. Well, what the, I do is I've got the, a magnetic sign and I put it on to my uh, on the sides of my uh, little. I got a '91 Nissan pickup truck. Mm-hmm. So whenever I think that you know this whole show business thing's been a struggle, mm-hmm. and that I'm 57 years old and I'm still trying to make it as a comedian, and and uh, and I got so many friends that have just gone way past and surpassed me, and and and, and all that. All I got to do is think, I got a bitchin' ride. How bad can I be doing? <laughs> huh? Huh? So I got my... No, I got my a 91 no. Nissan pickup. Yeah, that's a sweet yeah, ride. Man. So what I do is I put hay in it. <laughs> and then I go up on Hollywood Boulevard, and I got my friend uh, Gary. You know Gary the musician. Yeah. So he sits in the he sits in the uh, pasture side playing the banjo. Yeah, and uh, and I open the back window, the back flat, uh, flat that flat little window there in the cab, and and uh, I just get all these Asian tourists to ride up and down Hollywood Boulevard with me while I spew out a bunch of bullshit, and I charge them each thirty bucks a ride. Rubes Hollywood Hayride. Wow, it's the only it's the only way I can turn things around now. Oh, God. Well, you know, uh, know full well that if it weren't that I'm on a fixed income, I'd help you take care of your rent. But, you know, I can't afford it. So, I, But I, I want know, you to man. know that. I want you to know that. I know that. I got the last good deal left in Hollywood, too, so I better get on it. But, you know, it's always kind of funny when you're uh, on the side of the road. Yeah. And there's a bunch of Asians and a bunch of hay, a bunch of Asian tourists and a bunch of hay in your truck, and you're talking to the cops, trying to talk your way out of it. Yeah. You, you, need, you need a permit for that, and I'm not going to get a permit. Plus, the other thing is that my truck hasn't been registered in five years. I told you that. Yeah. And, and uh, But the funny thing is, it's been so long that the colors have come back around, so I drive it, <laughs> I drive it now without worrying about it. <laughs> no, it's true, man. It, it went... And, 
five years ago it was green, and uh, these days it's green again. So <laughs> all good things come to those who wait, Alex. Yeah. You know, I think the thing is p- persistence and patience. That's been the key to me owning Hollywood. It, 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 it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, how you doing? Uh, well, I'm uh, I'm I'm doing okay. You know, we're not being evicted. But we're in the middle of a whole thing. Uh, oh but, yeah, that's right, man. You are in the middle of a whole thing. The whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, so you know, that's a, huh? that's a weird tale, man. That's a weird tale. Yeah, it's a weird tale. But I, I, you know, I, I don't like to go into it over and over again because. Uh, it no, just, I know. Yeah, it, but it goes on, you know. I mean, when you got legal things going on, they go Drain on. You. They go on forever. This yeah, thing, this thing has been going on now for over three years. Wow! And we still haven't gotten to the trial stage. You know, it's one piece of paper after another. Lawyers racking up uh, money like crazy. You know, I think one we, day it'll be worth it, though. When you're standing on what street do you live on? Uh, I live on Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Boulevard or Seventh Avenue, as it's known to some. Do you have a uh, stoop? Yeah, we have a stoop. No, there wait, you go, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. It'll all be worth it. It'll all be worth it that day when you can go out on that stoop and yell out, "I'm a free man! <laughs> I'm a free man!" Right. I have no obligations. But, uh, you know, that could take years. That could take years, yeah. No, it it's just keeps going on and on and on and on, you know. And and that's the – but the thing is that in the meantime, all these lawyers are making money. Now, I – you know, I'm, I, I can't complain about our lawyer. He's doing a great job, you know. But still, the longer it goes on, I mean, if everybody were willing to settle – then everybody would not be paying large lawyers' fees. But there are three sets of lawyers in play here. And Oh, boy. Yeah. Three sets. Well, I mean, mm. I got my lawyer, this other guy who rented us the apartment and shouldn't have, as his lawyers, and then the landlords have their lawyers. And all three sets of lawyers are working on this thing. And uh, if they racked up as much money as we've racked up, I guess maybe there's $50,000 that people have made off of this so far. Nothing's happened. Oh, man. So. I would say I'm in the wrong business, but I couldn't handle being a lawyer. Well, you know, we, we had a thing called a deposition. And in the deposition, oh, yeah. you got to bring your lawyer. They bring their lawyers. And, you know, it, actually the landlord and I are being sued by this other guy who we're suing. All right. But uh, but the fact is that when they were all sitting there in the same room, how much was the total? You know, each lawyer was making four hundred dollars an hour. And uh, each uh, the depositions went on for, I think, two separate days at about, oh, I don't know, eight hours of depositions. So you figure out yeah, how much they, money those lawyers were. Yeah, they and their travel and all kinds of things. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, it's just, uh, it's amazing. It's just amazing. So, uh, but. Uh, you know, I had to testify to grand jury. You what? Yeah, man. That was some crazy, crazy stuff. I was sitting here, and this is a couple of years, about two years ago, and I was sitting here. Yeah. I couldn't sleep. It was about 6.30 in the morning. I got a big iron security screen door uh, in front of my regular door, and uh, I hear somebody banging on it. Sometimes it's hard to tell. It's like remember, somebody's banging on a door. So it's not yours. It's next door. And it was like 6.30 in the morning, quarter to 7. And I'm like, I'm not getting that. And then all of a sudden you hear in a deep voice, and you've a guy yelling, at this Robert Rubin live here? Is there a Robert Rubin that lives here? And I'm like, holy shit, man. So, uh I opened the door, and it's like a barrel-chested dude in a suit from Central Casting. That's what it seemed like, but he was from the uh, uh, FBI. And uh, he, go, he, 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 he hands me a summons, and he goes, you've got to testify to grand jury in Oakland, California, blah, 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 blah. And I'm standing there half asleep. I got on my shamrock uh, pants. And uh, a T-shirt, and I just looked down and I said, I can't go to this. And he's like, well, you have to go. I go, no, I can't do this. And and 
They go, we're going to fly you in. I go, I can't even make it to the airport, man. I'm broke. I'm sorry. I can't go. They go, well, you, well, you, 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 you have to at least get a ride to the they start breaking down like a little kid, you know. He's like, well, you got to at least get a ride to the airport because we're paying to fly you up there. Hey, pick me up and take me to the airport. Right. So the funny thing is, the grand well, wait, jury, wait, 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 all wait, it is, wait, wait, is, what, is, is what, what was it? What was it for? Yeah. Oh, uh, because my freaking my uh, the guy that did my taxes yeah. had a property company, and apparently he was doing something weird. With his property company, so they uh, they went through his client list, yeah, and they included me. All he did was my taxes. He did them for free every year because he got me out of a tax situation uh, twenty five years ago, and, and and that was his background. Was a uh, he used to be an auditor for the IRS, and then he opened up his own CPA company, and then from there he started a property company. And uh, I actually invested in the property company back when I had. The money, you know, and, and I think that's why they they were checking with every investor, and and then uh, I said I don't you know, I don't know what he did, but what he did wrong was a, it was a wire, it was considered a wire fraud. Yeah, and he had to do six years in a, in a federal prison, which he's done about I think maybe two years now. But uh, I go to the. Uh, but what were you? What were, what were you supposed to testify about? I didn't even know. But here, here's the funny thing. Uh, 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 here's the funny thing. I went, I, I go up there and they, and they put you up at the like nicest. I was at the Marriott downtown of Oakland. Mm-hmm. It was beautiful. I'm like, how long does this testifying last? A week? Two weeks? <laughs> the place was great, man. You know, and uh, uh, and then. You know, a jury is made up of 12 people. Yeah. So in my head, I'm thinking, ooh, a grand jury, man. I must be going into a place full of shiny marble and, and, and brass and, and this most amazing polished wood that you've ever seen. And the judge will be sitting even way higher up, you know. And the jury, they'll be grand. You know, the, even the jury people will be wearing robes and all that. And uh, it was in a, in a fucking ballroom at, at the Marriott. No, it, was it the Marriott? No, it was in a ballroom in the in the court building, and people were just set up in folding chairs. And a grand jury means twenty eight people instead of twelve. Yeah, but it, but it's the same thing. And uh, I talked to a uh, uh, a friend of mine who uh, is an attorney, and she told me that at a uh, the grand juries are, are a joke, and that you can indict a peanut butter sandwich, and. Um, so if you ever get involved in a grand jury, you got problems because you got 28 people that I looked out and some of these people were asleep. <laughs> and so basically the day before you go in, they tell you what you're going to say. They go, just say this and you'll be fine. So I went in and said, just say this. You know, they asked me questions the day before. And I said, thank you for coming in. You didn't have to come in a day early. Uh, I'm like, yeah, whatever, man. So they asked me all these questions, and, and they go, tomorrow you're going to get asked these same questions. I said, okay, fine. And then the, and the funny thing was I had a gig to do in um, in uh, in Phoenix, right? Mm-hmm. So they flew me on Southwest to, uh, you know, from uh, Burbank to Oakland. And then I said, hey, would, uh, I said, I need you to fly me out to Phoenix. From uh, uh, I'm not going back home. You need to fly me, and they're like, "Well, we don't know if we could do that." I'm like, it's the same voucher. Probably it's probably even a cheaper flight. Just fly me to Phoenix. And the funny thing was, what they didn't know is uh, these guys hate the Hell's Angels, but they were flying me. I was actually uh, hosting this uh, Hell's Angels music gig. You know? <laughs> and, and so when I got, when I was at this Hell's Angels music gig, and they're like, uh, and. Uh, they're like, how'd you get into town? I said, the FBI flew me here. And they all looked at me like I was a snitch or something and got all pissed off. And I actually had to go, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> but it was the truth. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. Well, you know. Yeah, yeah, man. And was my friend Benny, who uh, I don't know if you ever met him, but he, he, was, doing, he, he was doing my taxes because a long time ago, him and his wife were fans of your radio show. 
So then they heard I was in tax trouble. So Benny straightened it out. It wasn't a lot of tax trouble because I, was, I wasn't really making a lot of money. I just didn't file my taxes for like four or five years. Well, you know? that, that will do it every time. Yeah, that'll do it every time. But, uh, you know, he got all the penalties taken down and all that crap. And uh, then they garnished my wages for a little while. But, uh, uh, yeah, he's doing – I'm sure it's not hard time. I, I, you know, You know, they talk about federal prisons being like hotels. Yeah. Well, I mean, but, uh, uh, they garnish your wages with what? Like pickles or? Uh, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's all. Oh, you're going to garnish my wages. All, all, huh? I know, all I know is I never understood what garnish your wages meant because to me, garnish was always something you put on like right. hamburgers. Garnish is always something that was very pleasant. Yeah. It usually was on a plate and mm. it usually meant you were having lunch with your grandmother. Yeah, so I can't figure out why the word, where the word garnish came from, because this garnish. obviously doesn't refer to that. But I'm here to tell you it does. If you have problems with the IRS, they promise to do something very lovely for lunch with you. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So bring your wages with you so we can put garnish on them. That's it. Right? <laughs> Bring your wages with you. <laughs> oh, man. But it's all cash business, so there were no payrolls to get garnished. You know, there uh, there was one payroll company that they slapped on a uh, they slapped a lien on. It's what they're doing. Yeah, you're right. Why do they call it garnish? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. They, what they do is they put a lien on your wages, and, and uh, it's all... Uh, you know, when I did movies and television, the residual checks uh, would all come from a, uh, well, actually, all the checks would come from uh, like a, SAG uh, or two after. different companies, Entertainment Partner, oh. Payroll, and another payroll company called Cash and Crew. So that's the one that they had the uh, the liens on. Yeah. You know? Well, I figured, hey, man, you've got, if you don't have a lien on a, pay, on a, uh, if you don't have a lien on a uh, on a uh, payroll, then you're not really an entertainer. Didn't I? Didn't I one time sign for a car for you? Yeah, you did, man. I co-signed. Yeah, and, and, and actually, times. actually, you paid that one off. I remember. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it was a Hyundai. Because you didn't want to piss me off. I didn't want to piss you off, man. I I paid that. And you know something? That was something for me to do because years earlier I had uh, I had co-signed for somebody. People always because I always had a job. People always came to me. Can you co-sign for me? You know. Right, right. And and this was in New York. And um, well, there are two funny stories. One, I I co-signed for this this woman and her husband, and then they went bad on the loan, and I had to pay it off. Okay. Oh, because wow. I'm I'm the co-signer, right? Holy shit! Yeah. So when it came to you, I kind of thought, yeah, I just don't think I should co-sign again. This is going to come to no good. And I said to Gary, "How much is it the co-signs for?" And I know he said, "How many thousands of dollars?" And I said, "Well, if he goes bad on me, I can pay it. Let's co-sign." So we co-signed that loan for you, so you could have a car. Because at that point yep, you didn't right. have a car and you needed one desperately to get from gig to gig. So, yep. Whatever I said, you know, we can always have them work it off. <laughs> you know. Right, right. Yeah. So now, that, now, now you got to have me coming down promoting my shows because I got to get it paid off. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, uh, so I uh, the, the other time that I co-signed a loan, you remember? You remember Abby Hoffman? Sure. The revolutionary. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the radical. Yeah. So he wanted me to co-sign a loan for him because he needed like, I don't know, I guess it was a two thousand, three thousand dollar loan. It wasn't a lot, but it was a yeah. loan nonetheless. And, of course, good old Alex once again goes, okay, I'll, I'll co-sign it because I liked wow. Abby and I knew Abby and whatever. So now I, I co-sign the loan and, or I sign the papers to co-sign the loan. And he gets arrested. This is when he had that big arrest for being a drug dealer, which was a fake deal. Yeah. But anyway, uh, the first thing he got out to anybody was he told his wife to call me, and she called me. He said, "This is the first thing you want. First, you're the first person he had me call." 
He wanted to let you know the loan didn't go through. Oh, geez. <laughs> so not to worry about it. Because I was prepared to just pay the whole goddamn thing like I was paying his that's, bail money, you know. That's funny. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so those are through. the three times I've co-signed. You, Abby Hoffman, and a, a woman who I lusted after. So, you know. That's quite a group. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 and and then I ha- I finally did have sex with that woman, I might add. She, she and her husband broke up, and so then she and I had sex together. And uh, it was the worst sex I've ever had in my life. I had been lusting. And you after, had to pay for it. I had been lusting after her since I was 15 years old because I grew up with her, and wow. I was hot for her. And I was constantly. I mean, she was she was a great looking, as the term goes, piece. And um, I finally went to sleep, bed. We finally slept together, and she was just terrible, terrible. <laughs> I, I, it's one of those great disappointments of my life, you know, um, because after you've lusted for somebody for like, I don't know, 15, 20 years, whatever, to suddenly have her not be any good in the sack just was... What do you constitute terrible? Like, for me, it's just a no-show. No, this was terrible. She kept talking during the whole thing. Uh, she didn't react much. Uh, and she wanted to have it with me. It wasn't like she was doing something against her will or anything, or she was just doing it to keep me happy. Uh, so and, but it was just terrible. It was just it just had no passion to it. it had nothing going yeah. for it, you know. So, um, uh, and then and then it, later on in years, I mean, we stayed friends. We stayed in contact. Uh, she had a heart attack at like fifty or something and died. Oh my and that God. got to me because that's the first woman I ever fucked who died. But now that does that it certainly doesn't even come close to your situation. No, where you were having but, sex with a woman and she literally died. Yeah, I don't know yeah. how you continued to have sex after that. You know. Well, I kept right on going. <laughs> 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 You can't, you can't, you can't just satisfy yourself, man. You got to make sure that everybody gets part of the fun. Now, wait, let me ask you this question. I think I asked you this question before. When did you find it exactly she was dead? I mean, were you doing the act and she died in the middle of it, or did she die afterwards? We were doing the act and she died in the middle of it. Really, and and yeah. did you just keep going? Yeah, I kept right on going, man. You know, I you wanted her to have an orgasm. You, you didn't know she was dead? No, I didn't know she was dead. <laughs> oh, God. So, actually, you're the only guy I ever know who fucked a corpse. Right, but, <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, it, it be, it, yeah, it went from you, one minute you're there and the next minute you're not, but I'm focused the whole time. Yeah. But now you... So, that was the worst. Uh, so, that was the worst one... That was the worst one because you know to to um, what do you call it to uh, to be a good lover, you've got to pay great attention, you know, and 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 uh, be engaged the whole time. And when somebody dies on you in the middle of it, that's kind of selfish. <laughs> on her part, yeah, yeah, very selfish. So you just kept going. No, but how did? At what point did you I know? Kept what, at, right on going, boy. At what point did you? You know, you know that's what I used to tell people. I said, uh, although this part isn't true, but I said I kept right on going, boy. Right till I brought her the most earth-shattering orgasm she ever missed. <laughs> oh God! No, but at what? And uh, we got about two minutes left here. What point did you realize she was dead? Oh, uh, well, I, I, I just, uh, you know, it was a pretty scary thing, man. I didn't realize at first, like, you know, like we just, uh, I, I knew something was wrong. And so then I, I stopped and then, uh, you know, and, uh, I rolled off and, uh, you know, and, and then they had them thinking, yeah, pretty good, huh? Pretty good. And, you know, and I'm breathing heavily. So I figured everybody's breathing heavily, but, uh, but she wasn't breathing. She wasn't breathing, no. Wow. So then I guess you called, what, 
nine one one or whatever. I called nine one one and I tried to do uh, uh, what do you call it? CPR. Uh, yeah, CPR, and I I I, I did that correctly, and uh, uh, I, it was a uh, what do you call it? She just she had an aneurysm. Wow, how old was she? Oh uh, God, like thirty, I think. Wow, thirty years wow. old. That's terrible. I mean, oh yeah, it's uh, it's terrible, man. I had a, a friend of mine back at that time, a friend of mine back at that time too, who just got married, and uh, and his wife, thirty two years old, and she was on a long flight to Spain. She gets off the plane and, and collapses. Same wow. thing, uh, uh, an aneurysm, which uh, can happen a lot after yeah. a long flight. Anyway, we've run out of time. Well, not on that note. And we'll talk to you, we'll talk to you soon, ladies and gentlemen, the original, Bob Rubin. Bye-bye, everybody. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And thank you very much, Bob Rubin, for being with us this evening uh, and pre-recorded. Uh, and <laughs> we we usually have video with Bob, but uh, he's got trouble with his Skype, so uh, he he somehow can't get his Skype going. So you know, that's that them's them's the problems with life. I I got all kinds of problems with life. I'll tell you, every everything is becoming more and more expensive. Um, for instance, run, in running this show. We use something called Log Me In, which allows me and other people to use my uh, machine here to upload their programs and everything. Uh, a couple of years ago, when I first took it on, I think it was $49. Then it went up to $99. Then it went up to $149. And I just got a renewal notice for $249. It's a singularly almost singly one of the most expensive components outside of live stream uh, that I pay for. Uh, uh, I, I do pay for like Microsoft, uh, uh, rather Adobe products every month, about 49 bucks. But I, you know, I get Photoshop, I get Premiere, I get a whole bunch of graphics things, stuff that I use, okay, not only for this show. But when you get something going up to 149 bucks, and then I also, if you if you look at a lot of our promotional material, you'll see graphics and so on, animations going on behind it, and I get that from a place called Video Blocks, and Video Blocks started out at, I think something like uh, 49 bucks, and then it went up to 99, then it went up to 139, and then it went down to 99 again, and now it's going up to 149. These things are all over the place. And somehow all these things come due at the same time every year. <laughs> yeah. Every year. Same, same, goddamn, uh, same goddamn thing. So uh, um, uh, this month's going to be a very expensive month for keeping Gabnet going. Something like 400 bucks in renewals. But uh, I think that's most of the renewals for the year. So I'm taken care of. It only comes to about 20 bucks a month. But geez almighty, you know. It's getting to the point where I'm watching the Bucks, um, but anyway, let me uh, let me turn on the uh, the because some people will go, oh, why is he just talking and we can't uh, we can't call the show, so uh, call the goddamn fucking show if you want to, pal, you know. Uh, we have the Skype lines are now open, um, and uh, um, let me see here. There was something else that that was. Uh, 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 expensive, and I'm trying to remember what it was that I wanted that I was going to talk about, and I can't remember it. So, I, I forget these things. Uh, last night I made a major mistake. By the way, I referred to the town where those uh, racial incident took place as being in Charlotte. It's in Charlotteville. Okay, so I'm sorry. You know, I'm I'm losing it. Uh, I'm about ready. It's getting to the point where I'm thinking of giving up the show because I just don't think I'm capable of doing it anymore with any kind of decent uh, um, ability. So uh, I may I may, uh, may call it quits very soon uh, because I just feel I'm losing my powers 
and I don't want to overstay my welcome in this business. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're waiting for people to call. That's why I'm talking. Uh, what was it? There was one other thing that I wanted to talk about. There was one other thing that was uh, was on my mind where all this crap was concerned and uh, the, the spending of bucks and things costing more these days, and I can't remember what, what the thing was. I'll remember it as time goes on here. Uh, but anyway, so that, that, uh, that uh, the, you know, the expense of running this keeps going up. It's not, it, it, I, if I told you what I'm spending on this network, you would gulp. Not because it's so expensive, but because how cheaply it is to keep it going. Um, if I were to add everything up and say, how much per month is that costing me? It maybe cost me 200 bucks a month to do this network. But, you know, uh, as, you, uh, as you get uh, a little bit older and you're on a fixed income, 200 bucks is a nice thing. Now, also, I, I had a, um, are we, are, are, oh, hi, you know something? Did I start, I, did I start the, uh, no, we're, we're going out, okay. The audio's going out, that I know. Uh, Love you, Alex. Love you, Bob. Sure, blah, blah, blah. No, everything's going out and nobody's calling. Okay. Oh, f fuck you. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, oh, now I forgot again. Uh, <laughs> it was something in which a price went up on something and I wanted to talk about it. Oh. I'm, I'm trying to decide, in fact, I'll wait till I get like Rob Alfano here calling and a few other people who have cable and see what they think I should do. I'm thinking about changing my cable system, uh, mainly because I am f grandfathered into a, a plan that I got when I was making the big bucks, and it's like, three. I, play, I pay 300 and thirty-five dollars a month for for cable, uh, but I get the internet and I get all the other stuff, and I we have all the channels, and uh, it's uh, I there are like uh, five boxes, right? And uh, so uh, it it does all add up. But I was checking out uh, FiOS today, and um, I called them. And first of all, I called uh, Spectrum, all right, to see what I could do about my, you know, lowering the bill, maybe taking all these things individually rather than as this whole package. And they said, well, we do have packages here, but and, and it would be cheaper. But you're in a program uh, which you got. Uh, here comes Phil Meyer. Let me see here. Gee, uh, hello, Phil. How are you this evening? Hey, yeah, yeah. I think you struggled enough. What? Uh, you just, uh, you know, uh, talking, waiting for... I wasn't uh, struggling. Not. Okay. So you, you did a good job of filling time. Uh, I mean, I, I can I can do four hours, and I have done it without having a single call yeah. uh, and just talk. But anyway, don't be insulting. Um, Why not? So anyway, I... Uh, uh, so I, 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 they were, I was talking to them about what can we, well, I, first of all, I said, uh, how much am I paying for each of my cable boxes? They said 12 bucks a month, right, for the device, which I think is, they shouldn't charge you for because if they're selling you cable, then they should sell you the thing that gets the cable into your house, right? Yeah, that makes and sense. And it changes the stations and things well, like that. Five, six boxes? Huh? You have six boxes? Six boxes. So I told him, well, I can remove one box. He says, okay, we'll disable that box. Go get the number for it and then return it when you get a chance, okay? Because I, we never use it. It's in the dining room. We never turn it on. We've never used it. It isn't even hooked up, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, mainly because I found out that you spend $8 a month on electricity for any of those things that are on, okay? Sure. You're complaining about the cost of GabNet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. So anyway, so then I said, okay, now what what plans does Spectrum have? And he told me all these plans, right? That they they told, he told me, well, we do have a plan. We have the gold plan. It's everything you're getting now, okay? Uh, and uh, with this, it'll cost you two hundred and seventy-five dollars or something like that. 
All right. I said, that sounds good. He says, but there's a problem. I said, what's the problem? He said, well, you were grandfathered into uh, the signature program that Time Warner Cable had, and so you have a system at your house where all your different TV sets can pick up, where the cable box can pick up the... Um, it can pick up the, uh, 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 what do you call it? Pick up the, uh, uh, you know, the, the DVR that records all the shows. Hey, hi, Rob. How are you? Oh, we're going right. to have a picture. Are we going to have a picture tonight, Here. Rob? Something. Don't know. We don't know. Well, well, just wait and see. Anyway, uh, and I, they said, we don't have that at Spectrum. I said, what? They said, we don't have an all-house DVR. You have to have a DVR on every one of your sets and record on those DVRs for what you want to watch on that TV set. I said, wow. every company in the business has these, you know, home-wide sets, you know, DVRs. Do you have one? Well, you, well, you who, who do you go through? Uh, you have, you, you're, you cut the cord, right? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, it's it, sometimes it gets. I, when I didn't cut the cord, there was a thousand channels, most of them in Chinese and Spanish, yeah. and shopping channels. Right. Now that I cut the cord, uh, I've got Hulu, I got Netflix, I got Amazon, I've got um, the CBS thing, which I may drop, uh, and uh, a, a couple of others. Uh, as, oh, Sling, and uh, the, the expand the full Sling. And, uh, you know, for the most part, I, I get what I want. I don't know if it would satisfy your Okay, your but appetite. here, anyway, let me, let, me, let me finish with what I'm saying here. Yeah. I don't know, and do you, Rob, know of any cable company that doesn't have an all-house DVR? You know not what I'm saying? You, you not, know, in any, not anyone that I have used. They have it. Uh, Comcast has it. Um, DirecTV has it. Yeah. Fios has it. BIOS has it. Right. Where and, yeah. and when we're talking about that, we're saying that from any cable box in your house, yeah. you can reference the one DVR in your house that's recording all the shows and watch it off of that DVR on any set in the house. Now, right. is that the deal with the, the Hulu Expanded? No, 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 no. That's not where. That's another. That's, that's an online thing. The DVR for the cord cutters? No, no. That, that, yes, they're going to have a DVR, but we're talking about a physical DVR in the house. One of your okay. cable boxes is a DVR, records the stuff, and all the other stuff in your house, right? That with your FiOS, it's that way, right? Uh, yep. uh, picks up, uh, right. right? So for ten years in but, my old but house, wait a minute, wait, I had wait, a can I finish what I'm saying? Maybe. Yeah. You know, um, I mean, I don't care what you had in your house for years. I thought you asked me. No, I didn't. I asked you if if anybody here had a cable box that had you know what company oh. but this fucking company has a, a, a doesn't have an all house DVR. Okay? Do you use it huh? In all house? Do you use it in all house? Or? Yeah, I use it in the, I go into the living room and I watch stuff off the cable, you know, and I watch stuff that we've recorded off the cable on the DVR which is in the next room. Okay, mm. and I go, I, I go into the, the, uh, the kitchen, I do the same thing. I go into the guest room, I do the same thing. You know, I don't so know a company that price? doesn't have this. What? What's the difference in price between what you're paying now and the 275? Well, I told you I was paying 335. Oh. So this uh, would be something like, he said, this would be something like, uh, I don't know, to, to something, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, uh, and he said, but you, then you'd have to, you could not record on the DVR in the bedroom and have it play in the guest room. Okay? Well, bullshit to that. I'm not going to take that, right? I'll, I'll stick with my $335 program that they're not getting rid of because it's grandfathered in. And you can't, yeah. uh, separate DVRs wouldn't give you what you need. Right. Well, because because, because let's say let's say I record Game of Thrones on the bedroom DVR, I can't yeah. watch it on the one in the living room because I didn't record it on the one in the living room. Got it. Get what I'm saying? Yeah. Whereas with an all ho all home DVR, and I have two of them here. I have two that work in conjunction with each other. Uh, I can record something here in the office, 
on the DVR, and I can play it in the guest room, or I can play it in the living room, or I can play it in the kitchen. All right? Well, so now I decide, okay, my second call is to Fios. What do you have, Fios? Well, uh, let me see. What do you have now? And I told them what I had now. They said, well, we can give you the gold plan, which is everything you're getting right now. Plus, we'll give you the internet, and you'll have a hundred, what, a nine hundred, and some odd megabytes per second upload, download rather, and the same, and a slightly less upload, like eight hundred and forty. Not bad. Oh, not bad. That's like you know, that's like supersonic compared to the three hundred I have here, and three hundred is just fine for me. And I said, okay. Let's add it all up. How much will that cost me? And she said, $233 a month. And Until I said, the promo runs out. No, I said, what went, what, when the promo runs out, how much is it going to cost? And she said, what do you think? 600 $5 more. That's really? it? Yep. You should Shocking. have told them, I'm not so sure I want to pay that extra $5. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, a year from now when I'm, uh, you know, uh, on the being on a fixed income, that may be make it or break it. No. Uh, she said $5. And she said, and after the uh, third, uh, second year, you get some kind of a bonus deal or whatever, and it won't go up appreciably at all. So hmm. I said, well, that all sounds good. I said, now, can you use the existing wiring or cabling that I have in the apartment? And she said, no, we, we use a whole different thing. We're using fiber optic and whatever. I said, no, the fiber optic comes to the apartment. Beyond that, it has to get to my TV sets. Or she says, oh, you mean the, uh, what, what's the term, the coaxial? I said, right. yeah, can you use the existing coaxial that we have? And she said, yes, because they just hook into that coaxial. Like, did you have to, when you got Fios, uh, Rob, did you have to rewire the house with new coaxial? It was all new. What, what do you mean? Meaning, I built the house, so everything oh, was new. Oh, the old house, when you went to, when you went I to didn't have Fios in the old house. Oh, I thought you I did. thought you said you got Fios. I did, but it was a brand new house, and they built the house, and it was wired nine years ago. And so everything was new. They didn't have to, there was nothing to rewire. No, what I'm saying is... The wiring, the coaxial, as it were, the yeah. TV outlets, uh, right. were already there. Am I right? Right. Right. But they, and, remember, it's a new house. Yeah, but so no. What, what I'm saying is, for... they didn't have to wire it for coax. You already had no. it. Or, they're right. The house. So is they wired. just they just hooked up to the coax, right? Yeah. They put like what? What are they? They have like a box, and I can't the D mark. I can't think yeah. of the name of what it is. They have a box that everything goes to, and the cable runs from there. It's fiber to that, and then uh, out fiber. Of that, out of that and, into and coax, right? Right, right. Yeah. So I wouldn't have to change the coax in my apartment. No, no, no. Okay. Unless it's really old. Yeah. And she said that's 244 bucks a month. Well, that's quite a saving for me. Yeah, it you is know, a big savings. You know. Uh, 233, excuse me. It would go up to 240 or something the next year. Uh, but the thing I didn't like about her was she said, so when do you want us to install it? And I said, well, let me think about it. She says, what do you have to think about? This, this is a great deal. I said, yeah, I know it's a great deal, but I'd like to think about it. And she says, why? Again, I mean, she, all of a sudden I'm getting this pressure, which I didn't like, you know. I would agree. Yeah. So I told her, call me back in a week and I'll let you know. But I'm thinking that I probably will do that and just call my cable company, say, turn everything off. And uh, I don't know if I can get the cable company to come pick up all their boxes. I don't want to have to schlep all their boxes down to the... Uh, the down. They'll send you a box to ship it to some place. Yeah. Really? And, and what happened? So. Now, here's, what, here, here's my big question. See, here's, here's my only drawback. I've had the same cable address for the last what 15 years yep. you use that one anymore huh 
What? You don't NYC. use it, do you? .rr, what? you mean. What, what yeah. do you mean I don't use it? I, that's yeah. my address. That's my email address. Oh, I, I know that there's a couple of ones you have that you hadn't been using. Like what? I, is it the R, the RR you use, but that's .nyc yeah, yeah. or something. Yeah. Right. I yeah. didn't know that that was Now, my question more. is, when I quit Time Warner... What happens Goodbye. to my what? Can I make? Can, can I buy an email address from them? No. Some you need to. You, no, you're going to need to start now. Yeah. If you're going to, once you decide, you need to start now, and you need to change your email address every possible place that you need to change it. Well, I don't. That's know. That's why I. That's why I never use providers' email addresses. I'll use Yahoo. I'll use Hot, Hotmail, I'll use whatever, but yeah. I never, ever hooked up with a provider. I never use their email address. I think it's, it's you're locking yourself into something, and it, it doesn't make sense. Don't you have your own website, uh, like alexbennett.com or something? Yeah, I mean, I have, uh, I have alexagabnet.net. But the, the problem is, is that I, I heard that what you could do is if, if you wanted to, you could get them to, at least for a year, give you the same address and a a AOL will but Comcast won't that's why uh, I've never switched from Comcast because I've had this one since the 90s well most I mean of them it, won't. Hmm. most of them won't they don't want to manage your email because, if you're not because you're I not know that I, I know the girlfriend when she left time when she left Time Warner Cable uh, she was able to keep her address for a year or so and paid five dollars a month for it yeah. No, well, maybe they'll for money, but certainly it, not. Yeah, well, I mean, you. I'm willing to do it for money to keep the email address at least for the it's, time being. It's some sort of super minimal service that you can keep with them, uh, and uh, that might not be that much more than five bucks a month, and you still keep your uh, email address. No, no, not like really. What? No, I, I don't know. You know, like the phone or, or something. Yeah, no, I'm, but I think a, a girlfriend kept her, she had one with when she was with Time Warner or whatever. Um, she kept hers for about a year somehow, they, she was allowed to. So, I mean, I can't see why, it, you know, there should be a law to that effect that if you leave one person and you have an email address, that email address should be able to matriculate to your new service. Do they have like a dial? Can't do that. Service? You can't you can't do that, Alex, because of the namespace. Yeah. Right. Yeah. NYC.rr.com can't work anyplace else. It's not like a telephone number. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just not technically possible to do can that. You, can you buy dial up from your current service? You know, like a five dollar a month or seven dollar and fifty cent a month dial up account, and you still have your uh, address. Uh, I don't want a dial up account. Well, no, you just buy it for the. Oh, ability to keep your address. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. You don't use it, you know. But I think uh, you just change it and get away from those, you know, because people change cable companies every year to get the better deal, and yeah. to, to be stuck with an address from a cable provider is is not, you know, not a good thing. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just. Well, I, I'm going to call them tomorrow and ask them. If I leave, I you, got away from it by I, I never had it, but I, now I have my own uh, Office 365 account mm -hmm. with, with Microsoft, and that gives me my own email that way. But you have to keep paying for Office 365 in order to have it. Meant you leave it, you don't have your email address anymore. Yeah, but th it gives me the ability to put Office on five computers, keep the latest version of Office. Yeah. I get I get uh, space on OneDrive, terabyte worth of space on OneDrive. I get you know you get benefits for it. It's not that well, expensive. I, I subscribe to Microsoft and I get all their programs. You know like, uh, uh, you know the email client and things like that. Is that the same program? Off. It's called Office 365. I'm that gives you an email account. Gives you an Exchange email account on their. Exchange servers, oh, their really? Microsoft yeah. Exchange. Well, I mean, I you know, I also have a I have a Google account, you know, um, but I have to I I have to get a new one because I don't like the address name. It doesn't. It's too. What is it anyway? I, I don't even know what it is anymore. Um, let me see here. If I go here, and I go to Tools, 
and I go to accounts. Uh, I want to see if it's, uh, let's see here, at um, a Gmail. Oh, it's, it's not bad. No, that's an easy one. Yeah, yeah. That's an Just easy one. switch number. everybody over. Keep putting in your email signature, new email address coming, new email, change your, you know, and then you got to go to all your companies and change the email address over. It takes time, but you do it over a six-month period or whatever. Well, yeah, but I'm, I may do this next month, you know. Uh, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call up Spectrum and ask them what happens to my email address and can I uh, pay them a certain amount of money? Because I remember she paid something like $5 a month to Time Warner for them to keep the address. Could be. They may do that. Yeah. There's got to be some, there should be some provision for that. Legally, they should make some provision for that. You know, when, well, when I move, all my mail gets sent to the new address because I tell them at the post office I'm moving. There should be something comparable to that for... for uh, so the reason why that's not, the reason why that's not possible is because there's no forwarding ability once you're gone. You can do an alias, but the alias is only good if they're accepting email at that address when the company stops accepting email yeah based on, you know on you that there's no place to there's no way to forward it yeah so that's the reason why it's not like the u.s mail you can't compare it yeah. it's just technically not possible and if you're not paying them they're not going to manage your email account so you know that's it yeah well I'm, i'll look it up i, I wonder I, I bet there is some way i i mean i can always use the new gmail address you know that's get all my do. mail there and send out email to every one of my friends. How do I do that? How do I take a whole contact list and mail everybody? My what point. do you use what do you use as a uh, email program? Uh, I use uh, Microsoft. I use uh, what is it called? Uh, their latest name for it. Uh, it's Outlook. Outlook. Outlook, yeah. You use Outlook, you can create a group. You can create a friends group. Yeah. And then you can add all your contacts to that group. Yeah. And then you just send an email to that group. No. Oh, okay. In fact, most people do blind, a blind CC on that because you don't want to give everybody's email address out. So you send the email to yourself. Right. And you, B, and you BCC everybody else so that their email addresses remain private. So not everybody has everybody's email address. Yeah. And then I could probably just use the uh, the uh, Gmail address as my address. And then, yeah, you just send out an email to everybody saying, new address, effective this date, please update your records. Here's my new email address. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I got a, got a new domain for uh, my photography. I haven't really messed with it much. But I ended up getting a email address. The only problem is, is I got a dot photography uh, email address. So it's my name dot photography, no com, no, you know. And so sometimes when you try to put that in as an address uh, for uh, one thing yep. or another, it'll come yep. back and say it's not a valid email. Right. Because uh, it must recognize dot photography. And, yeah. uh, you know, there, there's dot a lot of things, but, yep. you know, I, I may end up changing that. <laughs> Yeah, I if would. It, it, it is dot .tv, yeah. there is this <laughs> island out in the middle of the Pacific called Tava, T, Tavalo, what was it, Tavago or Tavalo? Yeah, and, yeah Tavalo. Uh, Tavago. And they, they have the TV as a, you know, a dot domain. .tv. As a, well, not a domain, but, a you know, an extension. And uh, they, they're selling it. <laughs> if you want to use it, you got to buy it, but you can use it, you know. Anyway, I'll figure out something. I don't know. But, I mean, $133 will save me at least 100 bucks a month on cable. That's, and that's a huge savings. It is a huge savings. And, and more than that, I could probably get even more huge savings if I did what Phil did and cut the cord and start going with, like, Hulu that has a built-in DVR in their system, uh, which you can pay extra for extra space, but you get at least 50 hours of video recorded. Uh, using uh, Hulu, you know. it really yeah. depends. Like when you cut the cord, you have to be uh, willing to be more active in your television watching. It's not as nice and convenient as having the cable right. DVR 
you know, you've got to go to this to watch that, and you got to go here to watch this, and it's just nice to have it central in uh, one. I've got everything so centralized that every one of my sets has, has for instance, uh, has has Apple on it, or it has uh, any number of things that could allow me to use it. Uh, so I'm not that uh, worried about it. You know, it's uh, Rob is right. I used to be uh, uh, when I had Comcast TV and AT and T TV. I had a, a remote control in my hand. And I would go from program to program to program as if I was watching five or six shows at the same time. Yeah. And um, nobody in the house uh, liked watching TV with me because of that. But uh, that's the way I would watch. Wow. And now that I had cut the cord, uh, I'm not moving yeah. around as anywhere near as much as, as I used to. Well, on Hulu, yeah. you can get all your local newscasts. You know, live. It's live. All the shows are live at this Hulu thing. And plus, yeah. you get all the Hulu stuff as well. Which I uh, own. yeah. Well, for the forty bucks a month with Sling, I'm getting uh, a number of uh, local yeah. TV stations. Yeah, but how many? How many channels are you getting? Uh, about forty. Yeah, well, that's about what Hulu has. Hulu has, I think, more a little more than that. But they also yeah. have the DVR service with it. Uh, yeah. Even at the lowest level, you get 50 hours. If you want to pay for the DVR, you get 200 hours. Well, I've never used a DVR, even though I had one with the last cable company, yeah. and I wouldn't know. I didn't know how to turn it on. I never used it, and uh, yeah. and and I don't miss it because I've never well, experienced. It. I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do. The main my main hang up now is yeah, sure. Bring the uh, bring uh, come ahead. Bring me the. The the Fios. You like Fios, right, Rob? Because gir girlfriend back says to it as soon as we move. Yeah. Girlfriend no, says. No, well, I didn't. I, I'll, I'm going to clarify that. I love it, but I I won't use their TV. I'm going with. I'm going back to Direct TV. Why? Why, why, why won't you? What was that? Uh, 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 you you're going back to Direct TV? Why? I love Direct TV. Well, for a few reasons. One. I can get New York Station so I can get the Yankee games free. Yeah. I don't have to. I can. I just tell them, you know, they, they think I live at my brother's house. Yeah. Oh, in, on on Long Island. So There's I get all. about the, putting an end to that uh, type of thing. Um, uh, you know, where uh, the sharing stuff. It's uh, not sharing. No, it's not sharing. No, it's, it's, not. it's not sharing. No, because basically they there's no cable. Right. It's a satellite dish on a roof. Huh. So nobody so knows where do, that signal is being right, picked nobody up. Nobody knows where the satellite is, right? Nobody knows where the receiver is. So I called them up. I, I got DirecTV. I waited a couple of months just to make sure I didn't need them for service or anything like that, right? Got yeah. a good, steady thing. Called them up and said, I just moved. Oh, yeah? What's the address? Gave them the address. I got uh -huh. the TV on. And they goes, okay, you're done. And all of a sudden, I got different TV. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. It, uh, you know, it, uh, it was Netflix that said uh, they, they were talking about how people could share uh, the Netflix. Uh, That's right. Uh, yes. Yeah. Right. And and, cutting back on that. Yeah. Well, I mean, they, you know, you can you can pay uh, Netflix to have more than a certain amount of people. I think you get something like two or three sets at the same time. Yeah. And that's it. Uh, mm. Which in my household, that's not a problem. OK, but. If I wanted to get one where I get five or whatever, I could then tell other people, hey, here's my, you know, tell Patrick, Patrick, here's my Netflix account. Use it, you know. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. Yes, Mike. Uh, Rob, do you have uh, HD on DirecTV? Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah that's what I have. What would, why would you think there wouldn't be HD on DirecTV? <laughs> why in the fucking world why? would you think there wouldn't why? be? Just, because no, know, because it, there, there is yeah. no system that isn't HD. I had HD back in two thousand two. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Uh, they the make minute so I could get it, I got it. That's the one question I haven't heard asked in the last twenty years. <laughs> that's right, you know, I was just wondering. You're talking you know, aluminum farm on the set. <laughs> about that the the aluminum aluminum out. Out. Yeah, you just <laughs> use an antenna. <laughs> yeah, use your antenna. You know, oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, for crying out loud. Yes, Kevin, did you raise your hand? No, I was adjusting my antenna. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus almighty. 
<laughs> right, Minnie. I actually just canceled my direct TV. I'm trying to haggle with them for a price. They wouldn't give me a better price, so I, I went black for a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah, you know what? I only keep it for the Sunday ticket. And I just didn't like, they wanted to give me basic Alex for like $70 a month. And it's not worth it. I says, you got to do better. I just got off a 10 month plan for like 40 and change. Yeah. The guy says, well, I'll get back to you. I said, well, I'm going to cancel. I canceled in July. So yeah. I'm going to give it a few months because I figured I save a couple of months. And then if the Jets start sucking, which they probably will, I'm going to have to call them up and probably get a better deal and then plug it back on. Yeah. Well, anyway. Uh, uh, I guess my only problem is is that if you're happy with it, girlfriend says she's talked some people don't like Fios, but you know my feeling on Why that is. Why would they like it? Well, and my feeling on it is this. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, well it is Verizon after all they are pricks. But my my problem with it is that uh, most people are not going to be happy with their cable system. I don't think I right. know anybody who hasn't griped about the cable they have. You, for instance, Rob just said you're going to use DirecTV because you don't like the programming on Fios. There's no, it's not for that. It's it's because I can... Get the games. I can get the... Yeah, I can tell them I'm in New York and boom. He's a Yankee. Yeah, yeah. But the point I'm making is is that you know maybe she has friends who say they don't like it uh, and I know she's going to hate it. She's going to hate it because she is so against change. That, and you oh, know what kills the you. I don't the, like it. The channels aren't on the same channel. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. is. Getting that's used what to it is. I mean, yeah. I went the same thing. For, I just got direct TV about six months ago for the life of me. I cannot figure out the fucking channels. Yeah. yeah. Once you're used to one, it's tough to to switch. Yeah, yeah, I was on Uverse, which I just despised, but I finally got so ticked off and was getting overcharged so bad, I just said, screw it. And then I said, I got direct TV, well, I get a, the ticket for a year and all that crap. And where this, I, look at that, yeah. I look at their channel guide and it's like all over the place. Well, where this whole discussion started was the fact that I said that, that Spectrum doesn't have an all-home DVR. Yeah. I mean... What kind of idiotic company doesn't have an all-home DVR? Every company. That's unusual. I, I thought they had is, it out here. I don't know. Maybe it's different there. They all have it. They all Who is have Spectrum? it. Spectrum. Spectrum is a charter. Yeah, I use Spectrum for for my internet. Yeah, they bought up Time Warner Cable. Time oh, Warner okay. Cable had a, you, yeah, you could was, get that's out there. So. You could get an all-house DVR from Time Warner. So if all that infrastructure was in there, why wouldn't they continue it? Wow! So they went you know, backwards. I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd they went call backwards. Back, Alex, huh? call back. You might have gotten a bum person on the phone there. Didn't I, know what I'm got, I'm, well, I got. I'm going to call tomorrow about this question about the uh, whatever the email, and yeah. I'm going to see. Uh, I'm going to ask her and say uh, the person, a new person, and say what's the story here. You know. Uh, have you ever thought about uh, because it's buying seemed, a domain as long as you're going to pay for something? I have a domain. Like I, yeah, I uh, I bought. Uh, I stop to do what Rob does. When they give me an email, I never use well, it. I, 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 I had, went to GoDaddy and bought a domain. And well, I had that's a, what I use for my email. I, they I give had, you five or six boxes I free. Had, uh, well, I know I have GoDaddy and I have it for this for you know uh, for my website and all of that. And um, uh, I'm Alex at GabNet.net. I have that. But the minute I stop paying them, let's say, I would have to change it. So you're better right, going right. with one of these free ones like Google, uh, yeah, where I I'm just, A. I Bennett, blah, blah, blah. For some blah, reason, blah. I never trusted the web-based stuff. Well, I don't know why. But well, I, mean, I trust them. I trust no, I can get all that. Hotmail, by the way, I can get all that mail. mail. I, can, I can get all that mail into my Outlook, even though it comes from a web-based. Yeah, you can you know. pull that in, yeah. Yeah. So it, it, I don't know. But all I know is that when I call, uh, I'll just ask, I'll say, I was told that you don't have an all-house DVR? Because I said to him, I said, that's stupid. And he said, uh, you know, I can't figure it out either. Apparently, somebody was with Time Warner when the company was taken over. He says, but they don't have it. Oh, and I'm going, that just seems like a bad business decision. You know? Yeah. You know. But uh, I guess when they say on their ads, we're a different kind of cable company, that's what they mean. <laughs> You know. <laughs> we'll charge you for twelve boxes. A nineteen eighties cable company. Yeah. Now here comes uh, here comes uh, here comes Tim. Tim's adding himself to the mix. Hello, Tim. How are you this evening? Tim. I have Spectrum. 
You have Spectrum. Yeah. And two DVRs. Yeah. One in each room. Now, the, the oh. sales rep, because I'm haggling over price. Yeah. Uh, the sales rep says they are working on a whole house, whole house DVR. They don't have to work on it. Time Warner, who they bought it from, already had it. Yeah, they, they don't, don't have a billing. They have to bid the contract out and get the best buy they can and get the units mm -hmm. into the big cities first. But she didn't say how soon. And maybe that's just something they tell everybody. They're the only fucking company that I know of that doesn't have an all-house DVR. Now, we had a whole-house DVR from Spectrum a few years ago, and then they took it out when we switched because they said the strict signal between the DVRs in the house or the transceivers was so strong that your na their neighbors could see, what you're, could, could see what you're watching or sometimes even change the channel. But it, they can pick up your broadcast in the DVR to DVR signal because it's a very strong <laughs> signal that goes through the wall. Well, so that, that, that's what they told me. The, 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 that that maybe that could be. I have no idea. I do know now, now they're probably going to use they're probably going to use Wi-Fi now. I, I, I do guess. know that I do have a ceiling fan problem. That somebody is on the same signal as mine, and occasionally it'll be gone, and all of a sudden it stops. Oh shit! Right. You know, either that or it's off and it goes on. You know, yeah, we, you change we, to, we, we live on a lake, so the signal bounces across the lake sometimes. Yes, they Phil, change I, Phil, I would change it, except I've got to get up there to do it, and it's a whole complicated Michigas, okay? Right? Yeah. Yeah. We, want, we want things to be simple. Yes. At, our, at my age, I want them as simple as possible. I want the cable company to come pick up their fucking boxes. I told this guy, I said, I, I, I'll probably give it to you in a month or so. Listen, up until I'm scared, I'm scared to death because when I go to the car dealer and wait for my car, I'm watching. I'm in a little room watching on Dish or probably Direct TV. Uh, uh, I can't find anything uh, on any of the channels. I'll tell you. you I'll tell you what I did uh, when I left New York years and years and years ago. Uh, I had an old um, uh, Time wasn't Time Warner at the time Sterling Cable cable box. It had a dial and it had. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, I think it had 26 channels on it, and you just you, yep. you, you did the dial thing. And uh, when I left the, the city, I just took cable box with me. I said, "Fuck them! I made those guys so much money with Midnight Blue, they can blow me." And I took oh, I the box with me, and I think I kept that box just as a joke for years, and just kept it like somewhere conspicuous in my apartment. Like, you still have that old kind of cable? You know, it, they didn't notice it said Manhattan Cable on it. You know. Yeah. yeah. We never had cable feeds. It took us forever. Those old cable really? boxes, I had one. Uh, I paid $200 for it, and some guy did some sort of thing, and I got every. Oh, let, me you, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you how yeah. stupid Look they at were. That. He's getting a free fight. He's getting up by The so cable the companies were so stupid in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Here's what you could do. In my apartment oh. house uh, downtown, okay. Uh, uh, the Bernie Getz Memorial Apartment House. Um, I would like to see that. Apartment. They, they ran the cable yeah. through the closets in the apartments it, it, they, and the whole trunk. Okay. You could tap into it? Huh? You could tap into it? Y yes. All you had to do was is cut into it and then, you we'll know, splice it. Spl put, put splice, it pl splice it and. What is this problem here? I can't. I add, oh, add, shit, add the call cool. and I can't do it. Okay. Let me, let me, let me call him back. Once hold hold on a second. I just got to call somebody back here to add him to the call. Legal box. Okay. Uh, yeah, I had an illegal box. Anyway, so, you, so, I, so you cut into it and then you siphon it off. Well, I uh, one day I said, out of hell with it. Hi, Michael. How are you? I, uh, I, said, guys, how are you? I, I don't know why I couldn't pick you up, but I just called you back. Anyway, wait a minute. Somebody turn that down, will you? If somebody's got dead. Just dead. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, what I did, what I, what happened was I had the the you know the cable, and I said I don't want the cable anymore. All right. Yeah. So I had this box which they didn't know I had, and then they said, uh, okay, we'll come up and uh, pull pull it out, and all they did was they put in a coupler, right? To put the two wires back together again so I couldn't get cable in the apartment. And so all I did was then go get a coupler, hook it in, and I had free cable. 
That's yeah. how stupid they were in the early days. I had one of these little tools uh, that you could put over the cable and then unscrew the cable. Uh, it was like a little blue cylinder, and uh, it allowed you to open it up and uh, tap into it. Yeah. And uh, my neighbor had a uh, a card reader, and a, and, a, and a, he could wipe the card out, and you put the card in, and it would recode the card every time they recoded something. It would just pull in every channel. Yeah. You stick it back in the well, DVR. It, and, but one day, used, one day, I, one day, they showed up, and they put all the cables outside the apartments. <laughs> <laughs> went, well, they're getting smart now. And then when they went to digital, of course, there's no way of getting around that one. So My $200 box I kept for well over 10 years. I got the Playboy Channel. I got HBO, Showtime, all the pay-per-view, everything. My house was, uh, everybody was calling me when there was a big pay-per-view. The big fight. You, you got the fights? Well, they you, all you, come. You know, I, what, I, what, 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 I, what I like to do was not pay for the, like, the sex channels. And yeah. watch them on the screen because at that time they scrambled them so the picture was all wobbly and strange, yeah. right? Yeah. And I just yeah. felt that I was watching the Picasso channel. <laughs> <laughs> they all well, sound I, the same. I have a funny story if you want to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. My father lost one of his jobs one time. So I used to tape General Hospital on the cable box to my VCR. So I was trying to watch when I got home from work. And my father was supposed to be looking for a job. So when I was watching General Hospital, it went to the Dirty Channel. So my mother thought he was looking for a job. I said, Dad, what were you doing today? Oh, I was out looking for a job. Yeah, but there's my soap opera that I went to a new channel. <laughs> he went over my soap opera. You son of a bitch, I said. My mother got mad. Oh, boy. Yes, Michael. I Sorry. Yeah, I, I, I hear, I see you talking about illegal cable boxes. Yeah. I had one from, on a cable that had, actually had several because, like you said, they would constantly try and scramble it and you know um the the, the person i dealt with like kind of guaranteed it that they would give you a uh another one yeah another one when that happened so for years i had uh you know uh, uh, you, you had to pay for broadcast basic yeah right yeah but once you did that like you, you just got everything every pay-per-view and you know anything you wanted you had yeah it, it, it was great but uh you know, eventually, I guess when they went digital, they kind of uh, foiled well, the schemes. My, my box still worked, but the problem was I disconnected it, and I disconnected it for more than 30 days. And when I went to reconnect it, it wouldn't work anymore. They said, as long as you don't disconnect it, uh, it'll continue to work. Uh, I, I was starting to get less and less uh, uh, channels, but I still had plenty, you know. Mm -hmm. and this is for Mr. Bennett. This is for Mr. Bennett. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, we. Uh, I, I was just looking. I was just looking, and we have very low listenership right now, uh, because I guess they don't like the talk about cable and crap like that. You know. Didn't talk about Trump. But uh, what? No, I thought. I thought. I thought. Well, oh, you know, we're 17 minutes past the hour already, and we haven't talked about Trump all night. Do yeah. that. Yeah, I got a segue for you, Alex. Yeah. Have, have Christopher Ray call in. And take all of our, uh, you know, interrogate us all about stealing cable. <laughs> did you hear what? Did you hear what he did about Mueller? Who's this? Uh, uh, Brian Ray's the new FBI director. Yeah. Oh. He uh, he pulled the original. This guy start was the number one guy that started. He's a, a counterintelligence investigator. His name is Tazoka. They took him off and put him in the human resource department in the FBI, and they do that when they are, they have, they, they, like somebody's done something wrong, or they want to just take people off. He's going to gut Mueller's staff from the inside out, it sounds like. I posted it on Facebook, a link to one of the articles. Yeah. So, okay. uh, nobody can explain, now that Christopher Ray's there, he's doing the White House bidding and took one of the best investigators away from Mueller. Yeah. Well, uh, today the only big news was, uh, hi, Brian, how are you? you, you, you thanks for calling. We now have a full house. Uh, but Alex has been asking for HR in the White House for a while. What? You, you were saying that if, if HR, if the White House had HR, they would suspend Trump. And uh, so since this guy got pulled off and put into HR, maybe the White House now has an HR department. I, I think we want HRC in the White House. 
<laughs> yeah. But anyway, no. Uh, no. Uh, today the Actually, I, no, I don't. the only piece of news today uh, that of any significance was uh, that uh, 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 Trump uh, was having so many defections from his uh, what do they call his council his. Uh, is uh, in yeah, high council. It's not even there anymore. For industry. Cool. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, that he had seven defections, and before anybody else could defect, and they were there were more getting ready to defect because they just didn't want their their product sullied by the fact that they were on this thing. Uh, uh, he 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 disbanded the council before anybody else could quit. So by uh, tweet, huh? <laughs> by tweet, he did that. <laughs> It's like I'm going to make this oh. invisible rabbit disappear. Yeah. 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 Well, what was that? Ask a few questions about something. Yeah. Maybe you were you talking about Trump yesterday, and here's my question. I I, do I remember guys. talking about Trump yesterday? Yes, and the day before, and the day before <laughs> that, the day before <laughs> that. Can I get him on this, Alex? He was tweeting this morning, my brother told me, about Amazon and Jeff Bezos, I think, not paying enough taxes. And then at the end of the trading day, oh, Amazon's ball. down five dollars in stock. Is the president allowed to badmouth a company like that? He badmouthed Germany, and uh, Merkel. Well, I mean, not- I mean, I mean, I mean, no, I mean, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, Phil. This is a different. This is a different deal altogether. Because what happened was, as a result, Amazon stock went down. Yeah. Can you get his, now? Can that get is that is that is manipulating. Could be argued as manipulating exactly. the stock market. It would be better trading. You, it would be if you think he had the brains enough to to do that on purpose. Well, but no, <laughs> Bannon is the brains behind credit, all this. For having too much intelligence. Right. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the deal right. on, right. on right. Merkel is he got Germany to kick from one point two to two point cent, uh, two point uh, two percent of gross national product to the uh, NATO alliance. So uh, they're they're stepping up to the plate, and that was a big win for Trump. Uh, to, yeah, they're get, afraid they're going to be attacked by white supremacists from America. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what's what's this with the Nazis uh, saying that they uh, the Jews can't do it or something or uh, uh, you know they they, they were, there was some deal now the Nazis are saying something about Jews. Uh, yeah, are, 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 are you saying no, that the, are you saying the that the Nazis are anti-Jewish? Uh, yeah, it's hard to believe. It's hard to believe. What the hell are you saying? You know, but uh, yeah, they they can't take their place. Well, why would they want to take their place? That was one of the chants they were making Friday. Yeah. They're afraid the Jews are going to take over the world. Oh, well, they're maybe they're just going to take over the, the Nazi group. Well, they've been worried about that. Well, since... Yeah, Michael Yiannopoulos is half Jewish, uh, you know. Who's guess, called... guess who's on vacation, Phil? Yeah, on vacation. Javanka. Kirsten and Ivanka. Oh. Kirsten and Ivanka. Oh, yeah, Javanka, yeah. Oh, it's, it's a convenient time to go on vacation. They what, always are they going do Israel? that. Yeah. They going to Israel? By the way, I saw the picture oh, today of, uh, what's his name? Is it Kelly? Who's the... Uh... Who's the guy in uh, in in, in uh, uh, John, uh, Kelly. John Kelly? John Kelly, uh, the picture of him at uh, that conference. They took an actual still of it. He looked like he was in he was in he was put in the corner for shame. That's what, that's what I was saying. He was twitching and everything when he was they like, were answering the questions and they zoomed in on him and he's twitching yeah. every time Trump would say something. His his lip would get tight. It was well, it, they did. Body say, language was amazing. That, they listed all the Jews that were in the uh, White House, uh, uh, you know, in, in the Munchen and, and all of those guys. And, and, they're, and they're basically saying that they're being silent over this. But uh, they're also saying that they don't believe that Trump is a, uh, is a bigot or an anti-Semite and neither is Nobody's Ben. But supporting the bigot. And no, that's what he's way. doing. Uh, and, and no, he, no, he gave solace to the Nazis. I mean, when the Nazis say, hey, thank you, Donald, for what you said. You got to no, know no. that he's given them a little bit of comfort. They they're interpreting it their way. You're interpreting it your way. But the actual way that it should be interpreted was he was just like he said, waiting for all the facts. And then as when soon as has he, he ever that's, that's, waited that's, for that's all? Lie. Wait a minute. When has he that's ever waited lie. for all the facts for yeah. any tweet? He, did, he he creates his own facts. Why would he wait on something? Right. Uh, when fact. does he ever wait on anything? Hey, they, hey, they got an explanation of why he lost. 
why he had a nervous breakdown yesterday. There's a new explanation out. What was that? There is some leaks that Mueller, the day before, issued subpoenas to the Trump organization, and Trump is livid. Good. Yeah. Having to do a Soho uh, project in New York, which has been financed through a, a, fraud, a bank fraudster out of a bank, a bank fraudster out of Russia. Yeah. Yeah. And there's like several lawsuits and an you know, FBI staff. investigation. Yeah. Okay. Right. So do you so think that would explain a lot. He w- he wanted to distract. Plus, he was mad. He lost his mind. Yeah. All we're doing is babysitting them. That's all we're doing. I think we need to do use the Twenty Fifth Amendment. It's just about time for that. Well, I mean, look again. I'm 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 bringing up the sad news that it's the Twenty Eighth it, Amendment. How many people are we going to have to get rid of till we get to a reasonable human being? I mean, Pence is not a reasonable human being, and uh, what's his name over well, at, over at the House of Representatives isn't uh, uh, Brian. The, Brian, and then we go over to the Senate, and we've got uh, well, McConnell. Mitch McConnell. Uh, and, and then, and then I reasonable. think Rush Limbaugh's next. <laughs> oh, God. How many likes oh, does it God. take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully not if it's full of shit. <laughs> yeah. They'll wait till uh, 2018, and Pelosi is eyeing uh, new drapes for the Oval Office. Hey, 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 Phil, why did Pence cancel his trip today? I don't know. He canceled the last two days of his trip. He's coming home early. You think there's something brewing there? Nah. No. I think it's hard to try and explain America being crazy to all these foreigners. <laughs> no, nah, this will pass. You know, yeah, wait, a minute, wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Phil. Yes, this will pass because something else will come up. You're right. Let me. You know, it's been very quiet tonight. Is Patrick? Patrick, we haven't talked to you since uh, Trump Gate yesterday. Any thoughts? I think Kelly is probably going to resign in short order. I would, because um, if they're going to ask to, to take care of him and bring uh, order to the White House, and he'd refuse to listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, if I were him, I would be upset that this guy wasn't, you know, brought me in to fix things, and then he doesn't let me fix anything. You know, that's an insult to Kelly. You know? Well, I mean, he, he served at the pleasure of the president, nevertheless, but um, if, if there was me, and I'm just beating my head against the wall with him, um, you know, people can say what they want about Ryan Priebus not having control of Trump. Well, here we have a Marine general that apparently can't control him either. So um, I, I think Trump, you know, mm-hmm. he, he's going to do what, what he wants to do and, and to hell with everybody else and to hell with decorum. And um, he's going to end up fucking himself. I mean, I've been watching some of the shows today and he's getting skewered by, by the right as well. All the, he is. All the military brass came out against him in tweets today. Yep. Yeah, and some that, of the hosts on some of the hosts on Fox have come out and said, you know, where was where was his thinking at? You know, the, the the thing that he that he should have said, and I don't remember which one of the hosts said this, but uh, it certainly isn't my word. But he should have come out today or yesterday and said. The neo-Nazis, white supremacists, are nothing but evil. Uh, they're reprehensible, and drop it. Just drop it. Don't add to it. Don't explain it any further. Leave it. Just leave it. Right. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. But he, he lied about the counter protesters not having a permit. They did have a permit. Yeah, but they didn't have a permit uh, for that place. No, that's true. Yeah. That place did not. And, uh, counter- and neither one did at that place 
because the rioting or whatever you want to call it started before the uh, march was supposed to even begin. Yeah. Well, I think I think also, but you know, of course, we have to start tearing down those uh, statues of Washington and Jefferson because they were slaveholders, according to Trump. <laughs> Uh, now, see, what they don't mention, what what he failed to mention was, is that these uh, Jefferson and Washington created this country, okay, and uh, Lee and Jefferson uh, were. I was a Jeff. Uh, uh, yeah, it was Jefferson and Lee were out to destroy it. Now, okay, um, and and the statues are to a guy who wanted to destroy the United States. So, what do you think of these guys that want to take California and secede from the U.S.? Uh, I was uh, uh, a lot of people talked about that when I was there years ago, and I was all for it. Is that not treason? No, or is that not no, no. You, we is? have we no. have in the Constitution the ability to get statehood and also to reject statehood. So, therefore, the South or the Confederate states had that same uh, same right? Uh, yeah, they didn't want to destroy the United States. They wanted to separate themselves from the United States. There's a difference. Well, did, did the South really want to uh, destroy the United States, or did they just want to separate no, according, Well, uh, history, history dictates that they didn't. They just wanted to separate from, from the United States and govern themselves. So that's what California each other. Or some people yeah. in California. Texas, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 Michael, he's got his hand up. Yeah. Uh, Phil, I want to ask you this, because it was bugging me all, all during the show yesterday. On Saturday night, you were kind of agreeing with most of us that what Trump said was totally inappropriate, totally wrong, totally mistiming. And then last night, when he kind of you know, double down on that after going away from it on Monday, you were saying you agreed with everything he said in the double down. H uh, how can, uh, how can that be? Uh, well, how can that be? I'll tell you. Um, I didn't disagree with what he said. Uh, it didn't come over uh, properly on, on the day of the, uh, the day, the first, uh, the first deal. Uh, and then when he uh, clarified I, I agreed with what he had said. I thought his clarification was was a good clarification, mm -hmm. and that uh, it, it made a lot it of was. sense. It was. It was written. It was on the teleprompter. Yeah, but, okay. but then he, he I, went I, away from the clarification yesterday, and you said you totally agreed with the new statement that he said. What, that he uh, wanted to see the facts? Well, unless he's lying, that unless was about he's lying, Saturday. I'm willing to call him a liar, uh, but unless he was lying, that is a reasonable thing. That was about Saturday, not about what he said yesterday. Yes. That was about the con that was about him waiting forty eight hours to say something. He wanted to get. He said it a thousand times, waiting to get make sure I got the facts. What he said yesterday, where he backpedaled on everything he had said the day before, is what we're. Is that when he was fighting with the uh, news people? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Okay. What he uh, said uh, uh, Patrick has his hand up. Uh, I want to say a couple of things. One, Donald Trump has never in his in his entire presidency waited for anything for the facts. He sits on the <laughs> shit at 3 a.m. and he tweets out horseshit about anything and then he got a backtrack at 6 a.m. because he didn't have the facts. That bullshit, I don't buy it, the fact. What I think is he didn't want to come out against the alt-right because he got Steve Bannon giving him a rim job who had started yeah. the alt-right <laughs> And that's where that comes from. Well, you don't want those lips on your ass. Well, oh I, I don't know that Steve Bannon uh, has to give anybody a rim job because according to uh, 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 Tony uh, Scaramucci or whatever his name was, uh, 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 Anthony Scaramucci uh, said he actually can he, he, can, he can actually blow himself. So... <laughs> That's why he wears yeah. the long tie, but, so he has a little bit of extra to pull on. But, but anyway... Uh, uh, he couldn't bend over that far from uh, Yes, go ahead. <laughs> Kid, continue, uh, Patrick. Patrick. The, other, the other point I wanted to make is, as far as the statues go, and I, I think I said this Saturday night, they belong to museums. If they're in cemeteries, leave them the fuck alone. We had that uh, la final resting place. The thing that pissed me off yesterday is I saw some fucking asshole 
pull down a, uh, uh, a statue yeah. from uh, all by themselves as part of the protest, that's called fucking vandalism. Now, in Baltimore, the city removed statues, but they removed them appropriately. In the middle There's of the night. Between that and vandalism. And that I think it was a woman that pulled down that statue. She ought to be made an example of for doing vandalism. That fucking property that you're destroying. Agreed. And what Agreed. you don't Agreed. like, tough shit. There's a way to get them down. And right. it seems like this country now is moving to remove statues. It'll take a little while. But they, they should not be destroyed because we're not ISIS. I mean, goddamn, no statues. Not yet. No, <laughs> these no statues, statues, these statues and these memorials, many of them have been there since the end of the Civil War. At this yeah. point, they have to be considered, and I don't care what anybody says, they have to be considered artifacts. And just yeah. like we're mad when we see ISIS tearing down artifacts and old antiquities, we should feel the same way about this. Now, uh, if you don't want Lee's statue anymore in that park, which I think is called Robert E. Lee Park. It was. Not, not anymore. Was they changed the Emancipation it. Park. The Emancipation Park. Really? But anyway, yeah. uh, if you don't want it there, then move it. And I suggest the best place to move it to would be a museum. Yeah, you right. made a Civil War museum. Uh, not, a, not a Civil War museum, just a, any museum. Uh, yeah. uh, and the same would go for all those other statues as well. On the other hand, and uh, I'm not in any way siding with the Nazis on this one of the Ku Klux Klan, but I will say that these, a lot of these memorials, especially a lot of the ones like in Texas and so on, are just a plaque honoring their Civil War dead, just like you can, those same towns can find plaques honoring the names of the people who from that town died in World War I or World War II. Uh, I see nothing wrong with those, okay? Those are memorials for people who died in service of their beliefs. Yeah. Uh, there was a uh, plaque recent, today removed from a, a, a graveyard in San Francisco uh, that uh, commemorated the Civil War dead, and they removed the monument. Uh, I, you know, uh, that's... I, I don't. I don't agree with. Well, this, uh, the what this becomes. Either. What this becomes is a, is an ideological purge, and I don't agree with that. Uh, you know, it's See, the same. It's the same as Hitler burning books. Just because yeah. the uh, the alt right and these Nazis quit, happen, yeah, to, yeah, happen yeah. to have adopted those symbols as symbols for them doesn't make it that the last hundred years before that it was a sim, It was a different symbol that didn't have that meaning. I, yeah. I would agree with anybody who says that uh, in Charlottesville, uh, if they don't want to have a statue of Robert E. Lee up, I think that it's a good idea because it's a remembrance to people of, of also of slavery and so on. But then put it somewhere where people can see it, like a museum or whatever. If they I'm want not, to, I'm yeah. not into destroying it because destroying it is destroying a, an artifact. Okay. Or art. Yes, yes uh, Patrick, again. I, I just want to reiterate people listening didn't get it, were not ISIS. And the Antifa group and the leftists that were marching that are trying for this shit to get rid of it, keep in mind, this is not ISIS. You are not ISIS. And if you are, that's a bigger fucking problem than the fucking neo-Nazis. Trump called I mean, them. Well, yeah, but that, he shouldn't have called them out. That was bullshit. You're at a very volatile time, and Trump doesn't understand the quorum. He's a moron that way. Um, but just that you way. Know, <laughs> well, <laughs> that, was, that was a prominent example recently. But again, you know, museums, uh, and I say graveyards are off limits as well. They're the final resting places. Right. Leave them the fuck alone. Period. I agree. This was a memorial in a graveyard, not a grave. Uh, you know, so it was a, a Still plaque. Still in a graveyard. Wow. But, uh, you know, nevertheless, I think that uh, it was very apparent to everybody that Trump was reticent to assign blame 
to Nazis alone and to the Klansmen alone, uh, and and saying that you know some of the people who were protesting on that side are good people too. I don't think that anybody who adheres to that kind of philosophy can in any way be considered a good person. This was stupidity. Wait a minute. Let me finish. Let me finish. It was stupidity on Trump's part. Secondly, the people who were against those protesters, yes, some of them did act up. This always happens, you know. But for the most part, the people who were protesting were clergymen. They were you know, local leaders, uh, people who just didn't like the idea of this kind of march taking place. Secondly, the marchers, the Nazis and so forth, were supposed to enter the area from a certain direction in order that the police could police it and keep everything peaceful. They did not. They came in from all directions. They were looking for trouble. They were bearing guns. They were bearing clubs. And more than that, they were bearing something that I think was a, a, the worst weapon of all, Confederate flags and Nazi flags. And Trump, said, Trump said that uh, the, that they were the Nazis, they were the uh, uh, white uh, supremacists, but he said that there was other groups of people there that just were there yeah. Uh, yeah. over the, over yeah. the Lee yeah. statue. Okay, if somebody is there to protest the ruining of whites in America, I don't think you can classify them as normal, nice people, okay? Anybody who would be on that side was there because that cause that day was to preserve the the white race and white history, okay? Maybe for the Nazis no, and, and for the no, white but there was You couldn't possibly be a person there on that side who yeah. wasn't in some way a racist because okay, the whole the, concept the of being flags, there was racist yes but patrick, the patrick. and the antifada that were there uh and they and armed and uh, and the others that antifada, were antifada that's the new term too another new term phil picks them all up and then he uses antifa. them antifa yeah, yeah. antifa what the antipa <laughs> yeah, <the anti> <laughs> yeah uh and yes patrick um i think now like you and i Politically, are opposed on many things, but we agree on, like the Lee statue, that if it's going to be removed, remove it appropriately and put it in a museum. So I could see you and I not going to a rally like this together, but rather going to a common council meeting and saying, "Look, we don't agree to that. You know, we agree that this should not be on the public place." We should we should put it in a museum and not destroy it. But you and I would not be able to say that at a rally with neo Nazis because we'd be lumped in. With well, we wouldn't go. We wouldn't go to it because the minute we saw the Confederate flags and the Nazi flags and the guys wearing the helmets and they're doing the things and the tiki no, torches. Uh, admittedly, the tiki <laughs> torches seems to indicate to me all they were planning on doing was having a barbecue. But that, you know, uh, that's a story for another yeah, day. How do you still think there was a good person in that crew, Alex? No, how, no, no, wait a minute. You, I, you, you could not walk into that group as, say, Trump likes to say there were some good people there, too, and even associate yourself with that. Tonight, right now, there is a uh, there is a service uh, going on in uh, is it Charleston, uh, Virginia, uh, where uh, people are singing. Oh, Charlottesville. Charlottesville. Char Charlottesville, Virginia, and they're singing, but they all have these little candles. Now, I would imagine the reason they have the candles is that the tiki torches all sold out at the you side. Know, the, uh, at the Listen, the, the company that makes the tiki torches, because apparently there's only one company that makes tiki torches they're in this country, out put, yeah. out a, put out a tweet disowning the, the Nazis and the Ku Klux Klan and that our product is primarily used at barbecues. And they're well, made the in China. Customers now. <laughs> look, look at the increase in business they got. You know, maybe they you should get on. Hats. You could have made some money. All I'm saying is that <laughs> the, 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 just the notion that he had that uh, some of the yeah, people crazy. on the other side were good people. <laughs> Fuck you. There's no way you could possibly say they were good people. If you were and there, you were there because you, you were there because you adhered to white supremacy. Yeah. 
I and you see what he told Trump? Trump? He was like, I'm telling you, there was good people there. It's, that, and that's it's like, like it's, it's, pot? everybody on the other side was there because they they, they were peace loving, but not the Antifa <laughs> and not the Black Lives Matter. Uh, let me ask Phil. Hey, listen, do Phil, not use Antifa. Like it is a new term done by used what by would you have said? used by the uh, used by the right to discredit the left. Okay. So please, uh, I, I couldn't hear you, Tony, because you and oh, were talking. What happens, uh, Phil? This is this ox. If Phil was down, let's say Phil wandered into the group. He said, "Oh, what's going on here? Here, take a tiki torch, and you see all these white people screaming stuff like Alex said with Nazi shields and shit." I don't. What you were saying? Oh, wait, 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 better yet, here. better yet, let's ask Phil this: If you were <laughs> down there and this thing was going on, where yeah. would you put yourself? As far away from it as possible. No. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, it, uh, this was basically a a rally for white supremacy. And if you go back and look at the people who formed it, put it together, they were all white racists. Okay, Did you catch white the, supremacists. Uh, the two uh, links that I sent you, Alex. Did you see those at all? No. Uh, it was earlier today in direct message. Take a look at him. It's got that uh, Chris Chatwell. They had an interview with him beforehand, mm -hmm. and. Then they showed a, another he, interview with him today. It was a video, I guess, and and he was crying oh like. Oh yeah, a little I saw bitch. that. I saw that on TV. Yeah, he was crying like. Yeah, a little, yeah. But little both bitch. of those are full. The full articles are. I sent them to you. Yeah. You uh, get a uh, to look uh, at them. They're pretty. The the up. interview was done by I think Vice, and th yeah, this was yeah, the guy yeah. who actually got the permits, right? Yeah, that was yeah. Uh, Chris Chatwell or whatever. Yeah. Now he's sitting in a room crying like a bitch. And, he, to... and he's a white supremacist, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and he admits okay. it. Now so, he's, now so he's where crying would, where, like where, he's good, somebody's going to kill me. <laughs> where were the good Where were the good guys? Yes, Michael. Yeah. Marshall. Marsh, is it yeah, Marshall or um, Marshall? You know, uh, as far as the good guys, it's it's if there were truly any good guys there, they would speak out against exactly what th those white racists were, um, you know, doing, even if they were on the same side of the whole Robert E. Lee statue thing. It's, it's like when the right is constantly calling out, well, where are the moderate Muslims when, you know, when there's a terrorist attack? Well, it, it, it's, it's the same thing here. I mean, if, 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 and the moderate Muslims always do speak out, but um, I haven't seen any anyone who was there or anyone who believes in that cause saying, uh, well, w w th this was disgusting. Yeah. Hate is disgusting. Well, it, hate is then disgusting. Don't support, it. But don't then, support it. But then don't support don't it. Support and what it. Trump did yesterday was he, he excused it. Okay. He oh, gave he, it his he gave it uh, an excuse for existence. Yes, uh, uh, Patrick. He, I've been yapping about this since it happened. I mean, I'm considered on the right, but I don't believe in any of the neo-Nazi and white supremacy shit. And that's why I was emphasizing about the ISIS stuff, too, because I'm pretty sure that there's many on the left that have not really thought their position through mm -hmm. when they say, let's just destroy all the monuments, because they're equating themselves with a fucking terrorist group yep. out in the police that destroys artwork and artifacts and not giving it any thought. Yep. So, you know, I'm I'm all for, you know, the uh, Confederacy lost. They were traitors. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Nazis lost. Uh, you know what? Your shit belongs in a museum, period. And that that's the end of it. Yeah, and I think if somebody wants agree. to pay for it to go see it, let them go pay for it to go see it. I think we all agree with you, Patrick. Yeah. Oh, by the way, that I have with it is the Constitution, the First Amendment and Second Amendment. These are amendments that many people would like to see changed uh, for their own uh, for their own pleasure, and I believe that you don't change. I, I, the I, I'm not. I'm not against changing the Second Amendment. I'm. Get, I'm for getting rid of it, but right. uh, uh, I'm not. I'm not uh, for changing it in this respect. I. I feel it doesn't need changing. It just has never been. Is not being interpreted today properly by people who, um, you know, well, I, I in the past. By the way, the Supreme Court has said. That the Second Amendment was a 
uh, a, a uh, what do you call it, a cumulative right, a, a right of, of, of a group, not the right of an individual. Well, I, I wasn't trying to argue it. I was trying to show that people will want to change the Constitution. And the Founding Fathers said that the Constitution should change very slowly. And uh, there are people that want no, to overthrow Jefferson, it, that Je want, Jefferson that want to said design it, it for their own it, Je needs. Jefferson said it and, should and be and rewritten. You know, and you're not worried about Trump doing that, huh, by silencing no. the media? You don't uh, think Jefferson. that he's, you don't think that he's trying to discredit the art, the U.S. I, I, media. I think the media right is from Hitler's war, playbook. Right from Hitler's playbook. I think exactly. War, I think the media is at war with Trump, and he's fighting back. Wait a minute. Uh, Who started and, this? And, wait a minute. That's, wait a minute. That's Who, the wait minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Who started this war? Yeah, it exactly. Who, Who started it? the war? Who's been poking the bear? It's a, we have poking the sleeping bear, and, and when you get people with that kind of power with TVs and and microphones. It's one against how many? And, and you're one hundred percent right. They're out at him. They're that, out he, after. By him. the yeah. way, by the way, just to, just for your information, Phil Thomas mm -hmm. Jefferson said that the Constitution should be re rewritten every fifty years. Well, no, uh, they. I understood that the Constitution was a document that could be changed, but it should be changed. No, he slowly. said it should be rewritten. In fact, he almost called for revolution every fifty years. Yes, Patrick. What about the First Amendment? What about the neo-Nazi website that GoDaddy and Google shut down? What do you think about that, Phil? Well, you know, I I don't like Nazis, and I don't like uh, white haters, uh, you know, white uh, Oh, by the way, you were right yesterday, Phil. What's that? Everybody, uh, we have to let him take a drink. Uh, the ACLU helped the Nazis get the permits right. to use the park. Okay. Uh, right. You know, that's because they they support uh, First Amendment rights. Now, when the First Amendment is something that I don't agree with, not the First Amendment, but when the speech is something that I don't agree with, I can't stand back and say, just because I don't agree with it, they can't have the right to do it. And because I support no, the I, First I, Amendment. I don't disagree with that. But when you then bring baseball bats and you're looking for trouble, you know. Well, that's, it, that's different. You know something? If they if they weren't if they weren't there to start a fight, then they could have prevented one. Yes, well, Patrick. Yes, Patrick. Yes, Patrick. The other, side, yes, Patrick. The other I, side had the right to show up, Phil, for the same reason you say the Nazis had the right to show up. Well, Patrick, you need anti-fascists. Oh, well, people, to please, show up. please let Patrick talk. Yes, right. Patrick. Uh -huh. I I think I said this on Saturday. Um, I think no matter what group is protesting, whether it's Black Lives Matter, whether it's the neo-Nazis, if they are coming armed, and armed, I don't mean with firearms, but with baseball bats or rocks or shields, and they've got masks and that, they're not there to peacefully protest. They're there to cause some sort of mayhem, whether it's personal uh, 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 injury or property destruction, that is not free speech then. That that goes beyond what the First Amendment protects. Does it not protect peaceful talking fear? That's it. Peaceful is the main word. I've been in the middle of, of Palestinian and Israeli protests in, that ha took place in San Francisco, and the police kept them separated. Yes, the Palestinians were yelling at the Israelis, the Israelis were yelling back, or pro-Israelis were yelling back at the pro-Palestinians, but there, there, was no, there was no conflict because they kept one group on one side of the street, they kept the other right. group on the other side of the street. I remember that the news media uh, in, uh, in Virginia said the police just left the area. They left the area. And they also, the police were not in uniform uh, in a way that they could uh, separate these guys. They were just in their regular uniforms. They didn't properly prepare. I, I blame the police for uh, 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 having a, a very poor organization. Uh, in, in this, and that's what I think allowed these people to con uh, to, uh, to to fight one another. Yeah, because it you takes know, one person you know. to start it. All I'm saying is the Nazis and the Klan's people were there to fight. They were there to 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 get their way and to fight. And there were people there who wanted to protest them. That's right as well. That's their right as well too. Uh, the yeah. the worst thing I they heard. I, the worst chains. thing that I heard that any of the uh, the left protesters did 
uh, was uh, throw uh, a bo- what was it a bottle of urine at one of the protesters, one of the Nazis. Mm. Yeah. Did, did you know who's having you know? a good week, Alex? Who? Putin. Because uh, I tweeted on Saturday, what if Putin is helping these white supremacists logistically or something, so that neo-Nazi website that was shut down is now running on a server in Russia? Is it? And Putin is. Wait just, a minute. Are you sure Putin of that? Is, are you sure? Well, of that? I, I posted. I posted. I, I don't care what you posted. You can find anything online to justify what you believe. But do you know that to be true? It, I'll, I'll go to it now. No, it isn't. Dailystormer.ru. What? Is the name of it. Dailystormer.ru. Uh huh. And <laughs> and and where did you get that story? Uh, I got to go back to my Facebook page. Just a moment. Did you? Did anybody also hear that the police left the area? That's what the news media was saying. That the police had just dispersed and they they got the hell out of there. I didn't, uh, didn't hear the date. I just heard that it was almost a stand down. They just kind of hung around and it didn't it, do anything. By the way, yeah. Patrick, uh, if, if, when we're not on, go to your Skype preferences and make sure that your muting vol your your volume adjustment is unchecked okay because what happens is when you start talking we can barely hear you and as you start talking you get louder and louder which means it's trying to adjust to your low voice this way you would have one level Level. and we and you could adjust it one way or the other and then we could uh, adjust it here and not you know because i i want people to hear every word you have to say because you're so damn smart and I'm not saying that facetiously, you know. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, it, 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 and then everybody wanted to give. Go- I use GoDaddy, by the way, for my website, uh, and they're really good pre- people. But anybody can get a website, you know, and they need somebody to host it. Uh, they don't ask what you're hosting. I think they don't like porn because that could get them in trouble. Uh, but uh, other than that, they've never questioned anything I've put up or what what are you doing with your site or what is your site about. So I can see how the Nazis were able to find a home at GoDaddy. It's inexpensive, you know. Uh, so I, I never blame them for that. But if they found a server, in, I'm sure they could have found a server here in the United States too, Tim. You know. It was probably, my, my, spe- my spectrum froze up, so I... I'll, I'll post it to Facebook. When well, I find no, but my, uh, it seems to me also, Tim, that if they wanted to do it, they could do it themselves. You know, how, how, I mean, I know Rob, how easy my, my is it? My overall question is, is, is Putin helping them in some way with this, the people he has? Well, here they, you know, I, I guess we could be suspicious about that. And then again, it could just be something well, cut out. I think it's something to be looked into. Yeah. Hey. Isn't there a site called white supremacist Nazi now? You know, <laughs> instead I have uh, uh, something dot photography now. There's a uh, you know white supremacist Nazi. No, uh, but I mean uh, certainly I think if, if if you're you know if there are enough of you and you've got your white Aryan nation, somebody there would know how to start your own uh, your own you know. Am I right, Rob? Could it be done? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, ICANN's got a new one dot uh, Nazi. Yeah, sure. Uh, I, I'm sure they don't have that. There's, there's certain <laughs> things they will not allow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And the only thing you want is a .net or a .com because that's all that most people understand. If you put a dot something else, it it's difficult. Okay. It confuses people. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let me see here. I think maybe we should play a little theme there. And thank Rob for calling us. He's in Plano, Texas. Are you going to go see Scott and uh, and uh, Jack, uh, Rob? Uh, I'm I'm in I'm on an airplane tomorrow afternoon, so no. Oh, okay. Well, uh, uh, by the way, thank you so much, Rob. Thank you so much to our good friend uh, Patrick, or as he's known, Tessic Eleven Thirty Eight. What does the Tessic mean? Star Wars character. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Kevin, yep. uh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, Tim, of course, thank you. Brian, who's been in the car for all of the show, never got home. 
Thank you. Uh, Phil, thank you once again. And well, I you. am at the house, but, you know, there was only like 15 minutes left, so I figured I'd just sit this out. Yeah, okay. And uh, 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 Mike, thank you for your call. Marshall, always good to hear from you as well. Uh, first time we heard from him was on our Saturday night program that we did uh, the other night. Uh, anyway, thank you all, and uh, why don't you all just wave goodbye so they can... Hey, there we go. That's so nice. Anyway, that's our uh, that's our uh, uh, citizens panel for tonight. Uh, we'll have another one again tomorrow night. I'm off on uh, let's see. I'm off on Friday. Uh, we're going up to Vermont to hang out with Bernie. No, uh, going up to Vermont up to Burlington, and uh, so we'll uh, leave it in the good hands of uh, uh, Mr. Jack Bishop, who's going to do the show while we're gone. In the meantime, I'm Alex Bennett. We'll see you again tomorrow. Same time, same station in life. And if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay, bye.